Fisher Price Monsters! <laughs> Okay, so I got these a while ago, these two, and this is a new set that just came out. You can still find these in stores. You're also going to be able to find them in some off prices, maybe marked down a bit more, but they are pretty cheap in Walmart to start out with. That's your best place to get these. They are so cute. I couldn't help myself from getting them. and had them for a while and then this set came out just recently at least here in Canada it did and it's stackable and nestable and just three more cute little monsters I think they go really nicely with these two there's been a few other different kind of monster sets but these were the three sets that I liked the most let's uh, take a look and open them okay this one makes sounds and music this guy and he is called Giggles and Growls Monster. So that's cute. He's got this pouch in his mouth. <laughs> this guy, who is called Fun Feelings Monster, has three different expressions. Woo! That's a surprise face. That's a sad face. Aww. There's a couple different sounds I think for each expression. And that's his happiness face, so let's just... I guess I will open it up and I will show you all the possibilities. <laughs> There's his bum. Let's hope I don't miss anything, so we'll take a look at the instructions. Introducing feelings with faces and sounds and fun textures keep baby engaged as they play. The textures were a, a big part of it for me with the plush hands on them and everything. Really cute. This guy has his tail poking out the back See how uh, the baby is giving some pulls on him, putting his hand down his mouth. This monster is the perfect playmate for your little one. Or for this big guy. Oh, I always forget the name of those Australian toys that have, like, human teeth. I look at them, they're cute. I was gonna buy some, but then I stopped myself and I said, Jason... Jason, you have two cute little monsters at home. You go home and you open those instead. So he's much more plush and cute and fluffy and... He's cute. And then this guy, oh that picture. <laughs> Look how adorable that looks. So we have monster three... <laughs> Wait, it's not an order. All right, if they want to count it down, build these silly monsters up, then topple and gobble the little ones down. Each one has a unique feature and number for baby to discover as they stack, nest, and play the monster way. Monster number three. He'll eat the monsters up, he loves them so. Shake up the fun with this rattling little one. Okay, so that guy rattles. Look at him, his two teeth. And then here's the baby here. Monster number one. The perfect size for little hands to grab, turn, and click. Textured numbers one to three introduces early counting. Soft and colorful arms. Fun to touch horns. Ribbon hair. I think I got all the features. Oh, those horns are fun to touch. Then it says stack them high or nest inside. And I didn't tell you what his name was. Well, Stack and Nest Monsters. Okay, let's... Oh, wow, look at all these guys. New friends. So many new friends. Let's look at these ones first. I'm gonna want to take this tag off. Surf is washable. I didn't expect to have that much construction inside. Interesting. So that is monster number three. Really like its cute little face. 
You can put the head on the other way. It goes on perfectly fine. The ears are rubbery. You could probably chew on those too if you wanted to. All put together with screws. I find that odd. That's what the bottom looks like. He's cute. And then here is his little friend, number two, with his teeth. That's his bum. And that's what he looks like inside. And in there is some kind of rattly mechanism. And again, he has the rubbery inserted horns, which they weren't kidding. These are fun to play with. And then two, which you can trace, because he is number two, and he has two eyes. If you notice, it's all in the eyes, three eyes. Stack him on top of here. <laughs> oh. And there is number one, the cutest of them all. One eye, one tooth, three teeth, two teeth, one tooth. I should have did it with the horns too. And he is a clicky toy and he spins all the way around. One on his tummy, one on his bum. <laughs> He's number one. He's number two and you know what number two is. And he can be stacked up on top like this. Those are cute and they said you could topple them over. That's as much toppling as you're going to get from me. Also, this guy can eat this guy. Mm, he's delicious. And then this guy, chomp, chomp, boink. He can eat that guy. Hey, I'm full. Okay, while well, he's digesting, let's take a look at this guy. Hey, wait, the ribbon hair to play with. Right here ribbon hair to play with. He's also got the ribbon hair to play with. And so does this guy. They all have ribbon hair. Not this guy though. So, this guy. <laughs> Let's say it's his Fisher Price on his toe and he's got soft little hands here. So you can hold him like this. You can squeeze his hand. Soft hair. Um, the horns... No, the horns aren't soft like the other guy. Again, there's his bum. This is his tail. There's his sound hole. And let's uh, test out what his face says. I think there's just two sounds <laughs> for each expression. Maybe there's three. Okay, and then let's move on. <laughs> so it appears to be three. Or maybe more. And we'll move on to surprised. <laughs> I like that you can make it random like a slot machine can also reflect the feeling that you're feeling. So you can ask your child, what feeling are you feeling today? But we like to keep it in this mode. And then last but not least, we got this guy. He is soft and plush. You can feel that there's something going on in here. And I guess I am feeling too much. And, oh, here we go. Oh, it totally comes out. Usually those things are sewed in and attached. There's a lower volume, and there's a higher volume, and there's off. Off is convenient, and also taking out the hard part is also fun because then you could have just a soft plushy plush. I really like the pocket thing. You could store little snacks in there, or you could put your lost teeth in there, or you can just stick your hand in there. But let me put his device back in him.
think all the sounds have been different so far. So you can also <laughs> pull his arms. They don't come through all the way, no matter how hard you pull. Look, I just pulled out his stuffing. <laughs> oh, I guess he likes it. So that is kind of fun too. He's got horns and they are made of also a different material and they are fun to play with too. The pocket mouth. Dip, 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 dip. Kind of Muppet-y. Dip, 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 dip. Really cute. He's got the three teeth like this guy. So these are definitely awesome and a lot of fun. I like his little dragon spikes up his back. Uh, cute, cute, fun, little friends, cuddly. Well, some of them are harder than others. Uh, yeah, they're awesome. I think they're awesome. You let me know which monster is your favorite monster. They're very complimentary to each other, don't you think? So, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Happy Halloween! Do you want to talk about my outfit? Let me show you what happened here. I got this. I kind of had to make it my own. It came with lag warmers. I kind of put them there. And this is the skirt. It didn't fit around my waist, but you know, it works as a necklace. And the hat fits pretty well. I think this is a good costume. This is my costume for the day. Hope you like it. Oh, and it had bracelets that actually fit. I can get a lot of use out of these, I think. <laughs> my baby! Oh, my head! Oh, he's okay. That means he's okay. That means he's happy. From all of us at Two Monkey Toys, happy Halloween!